With us now, President and CEO of Siemens, Peter Loscher, joins us from Munich. Thank you so much for joining us. Is it, first of all, safe to actually assume that you will retain some kind of minority in Osram around 25%? Indeed, what we have said, uh, allowing Ostrom to have the entrepreneurial freedom and the capital available to really drive the growth opportunity for this business. But at the same time, Siemens will continue to be a long-term anchor investor in this business. Now, it's quite a reshuffle. We understand that this whole reshuffle is also to strengthen your services business. To talk me through that division and how much revenue you hope to gain from that part of your business. What we have uh, communicated is clearly on the industrial side to really look, tap into the growth potential of the service opportunities, what we see for our industrial clients. So that's the major opportunity to really have a refocused industrial business with the focus of uh, services, solution, and products at the same time. And we have created a new sector, and this is really playing offensive on the urban infrastructure mm -hmm. development programs around the world and tapping into a great 300 billion euro growth market for Siemens. And, and this is why we have created a fourth sector, a fourth pillar for the company around infrastructure and yeah. cities. And when you actually list Osram, will it then surpass Philips in terms of that division? Is that your plan? Uh, we intend uh, to IPO the business and the rest we have to see. All right, Mr. Lusher, how long will it be until Siemens actually breaks that 100 billion euro mark that we were hearing about? We have clearly uh, the intention in the, in the next couple of years to uh, continue to drive our capital efficient growth story and uh, the 100 uh, billion mark is clearly part of this strategy going forward medium term. And with the money you actually receive from the share sale, what will you put that to? Will you keep it as cash? Will you be looking at other acquisitions you can make? Siemens has uh, fantastic businesses. We have a very robust uh, and strong portfolio. Uh, and at the same time, we are driving organic growth, but also looking into inorganic growth opportunities in our core areas of the businesses. And uh, therefore, we have a great position in the marketplace, a great technology position, and we have the cash to further enhance the growth potential, the capital efficient growth potential for our company. But so what will the cash actually that you will raise from Osram at the same time your planned share sale in Arriva be used for? Again, are you just keeping it as a buffer? Are you looking for any specific acquisitions just thanks to this cash that you'll be getting from Osram? We have a rock solid balance sheet and we have clearly communicated to the market that we will continue to drive capital efficient growth and provide uh, shareholder value for our owners. In terms of this organization, are we going to see more of a reorganization or is this going to be it? Is this going to be one of the last reshufflings for Siemens? That's really uh, behind playing offensive, driving the growth opportunity for Siemens. And I think the fourth sector is really now a very focused approach where Siemens uh, can bring to bear the full uh, comprehensive portfolio and technology solutions what we have for a major customer base, the emerging countries and the emerging mega cities in emerging markets and at the same time also drive the infrastructure need in the industrialized world and there's no company better positioned than ours. And you think that Osram is a planned share sale is coming at a right moment. We're seeing so much volatility on the markets and actually a lot of the CEOs we've been speaking to are saying I have a very cautious view not only about how much of my products will be bought in the next year but what the markets will do. Do you think you'll get a fair price? This is what we will see. Uh, our clear intention is uh, to IPO this business and uh, this is the right step for the business because it allows from a strategic uh, perspective the business to really capture the growth opportunities, form the alliances which are required and at the same time really have the entrepreneurial freedom to drive the industry, consolida uh, industry consolidation for Osram and therefore it's part of our capital efficient growth story for Siemens overall. But Mr. Loshin, can I infer from that that actually you also think that markets will just become more stable, less volatile and therefore it would be a good time for you to IPO this division? 
we have clearly decided uh, that's uh, the right moment for us to do so and therefore we intend to IPO the business and the rest we will see. Now this is uh, getting rid of your next to last consumer division. What about hearing instruments? This is effectively your last consumer business. Will you also look to IPO it or spin it off? We will continue to drive uh, our core portfolio and uh, we have great growth opportunities uh, in the four sectors which we now have uh, at our hand and uh, we will tap into the growth potential and we will continue to also hone the portfolio aspects of our business and we see great opportunities not just organic but also inorganic in our core area of the integrated technology company and this is really part yeah. of the major positioning of Siemens as a green infrastructure pioneer, pioneering new markets and this is what this reorganization is all about. All right, uh, sir, one question about really Europe, because there is so much concern out there about a consumer, about interest rates going up sooner than the peripheral countries certainly are ready for. Are you concerned that this year is going to be very tough for your products? Siemens is uniquely positioned. We are at home in 190 countries around the world, so we are really able to tap into the growth potential which we see around the world. And we continue to see a distinctive growth pattern uh, in the emerging economies. We, the growth story in terms of infrastructure needs around the world is fully intact, and therefore, as a green infrastructure pioneer, Siemens has a great portfolio to really tap into the infrastructure needs around the world. and. Uh, this is why you have seen also during this crisis uh, a significantly better growth performance yeah. uh, in respective to many of our of course. competitors. Yeah, because you take advantage of this growth from the emerging markets. Mr. Lasher, I want to ask you about uh, nuclear power plants. You have some joint ventures. We had uh, this huge defeat for Angela Merkel over the weekend. Does it change your view about nuclear power in Europe? Will it change the way that you do business in nuclear plants? We are currently in the midst of an arbitration procedure and we are obliged to refrain to make any further comments uh, in this regard at this moment in time. So you wouldn't even say that w w we have to take a back step uh, because of the disaster we're seeing in Japan and Europe just needs to take a bit of a breathing space to see what's best to do in the future? I think what we see around the world is that uh, from a political perspective the energy agenda is clearly at the forefront and the political discussions uh, uh, you see them happening around the world, but for our company, I'm not uh, in a position to make uh, any further comments in this regard. All right, Peter Lasher, thank you so much. Great to have you on the show this morning, the CEO there of Siemens.